You guys ever struggle with UI and UX design? Trying to come up with some great ideas on making your app look really nice and engaging to your users? Well, you're not alone. I think a lot of people struggle with that. I came across this site, UI Zerd. It's sort of like a wizard, a UI wizard. UIZerd.io is the URL. So let me look at this website here with you guys, okay? And I think this is great for coming up with some great UI designs for the Power Apps applications that you're looking to build. So if you look at this, I'm trying to bring up the pricing here. Here we go. So it could be free for students and hobbyists. So two projects, free uh, templates. Now, I actually signed up for this in some form. I think I signed up for this pro. So let me go ahead and log in. And I think I have, have it open in another. Yeah, I've got it open in another browser over here. So you see that I'm logged in here and you can start creating some uh, app UI ideas. Uh, you can start from a blank project. You can start from a screenshot. That's sort of nice. Generate with auto designer. I think I might try that out here. Or you can look at all the, the templates. So if you click on that, uh, they give you lots of ideas. Okay, let's actually start with this AI magic. So I'll click on that. And which device are we designing for? I like to say all three. <laughs> I'll go ahead and say web here. And um, okay, it already says onboarding application. That's not a bad idea. No, we're actually building an onboarding application on some of the live streams here in the recent weeks using SQL Server as a backend. So let's leave that onboarding application in there. Uh, describe a, a design style, pick keywords or both. Okay, so it says modern startup aesthetic in the style of Airbnb, but some corporate. Um, now that looks like hint text. That doesn't look like uh, that's typed in there for me. So um, it's actually not a bad description of the design. Um, okay, so I've got, I've got techie, corporate, formal, elegant. I do like elegant. So maybe I can, yeah, select that one and unselect corporate. Let's go with modern. And let's see what happens when we click on this, this button here. You know, while this is designing, um, I, I will say that Figma is a tool that seems to be a, a favorite uh, out in the industry and in within the design industry of creating UI UX designs. And they actually do have a Power Apps template that you can use. And I've looked at it and uh, I, I, I really didn't like what it produced. It just looked like um, <laughs> it looked like a Power Apps application where I always like my apps to not look so much like a, a, a Power Apps application. So. When I found this tool, I thought to myself, this would actually be something I would use over Figma. So it's saying, ta-da, your design is here. You just generated a new project using Auto Designer. Okay. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to get rid of that little window there. Did you find this useful? Well, I don't know yet. really haven't looked at it yet. So let's try to zoom in here. And I don't know if the, the wheel on my mouse will actually get, zoom in. It doesn't look like it. So I'm going to click on um, this plus sign here. Okay, I'm going to try using my space bar. And then I can drag around. Okay, so this looks like a UI. And it's sort of set inside of uh, a frame of a laptop. I'm going to try to zoom in a little more here. There we go. Okay, so this is onboarding. Set up your workspace. Company name, add your teams. Okay. Now this looks interesting. So this this is going to give you good ideas of, of how to design your screens. It's not bad. So you could type in what, what type of application you're trying to build, and it's going to give you ideas of, of like some good screen designs. And perhaps maybe even, uh, maybe even features that uh, you might want to put in there. And uh, they actually look really nice. I think 
they look so nice. You're going to impress um, a lot of your project stakeholders when you're working on a project here. And uh, of course, the challenge would uh, always be how do we take how do we actually accomplish these things in Power Apps? And for me, it's actually sort of the fun part of Power Apps is how do I do something look uh, to make it look like, you know, something that wasn't um, something that doesn't look like a Power Apps application. Uh, this looks like, you know, we'd have a menu here. Uh, we could accomplish this like a like a tab control up here. And uh, there's just, a, and of course, a save, a save button at the bottom. So th that that wouldn't be difficult. Um, but I really do like this. We have a, a calendar here. And uh, typically when you onboard people in an organization, yeah, you've got a lot of different items for them to accomplish, perhaps in the next few weeks. And you could have that almost look like a Gantt chart. And uh, we actually did a, a Gantt chart looking um, looking, <laughs> we made a gallery look like a Gantt chart, but it was managing um, tasks and things that needed to be done within a uh, a shift at a uh, place of employment. So uh, if you go back and look at that, um, you can actually see how, how you can accomplish that. Uh, look at this, uh, tasks assigned to you. Of course, that would be a gallery as well. Uh, meet your team. Okay. Uh, let's go over here. Okay. Notifications. What do we have here? Okay. Um, this isn't bad. Um, so I sort of like this design. Now let's go ahead and, okay. So check this out. We can click on preview on this. Let's see what it does. I, I believe it'll actually sort of run something here where we could actually sort of, you know, type things in here. There's Nisus. I could, uh, let's say, okay, marketing team, marketing team. Let's type that in and we'll say get started. Okay, John Doe. And I would sort of see these as uh, tabs. Now, even though you can run this and click on things, it doesn't mean that something's going to happen when you click on something. But it gives you an idea of, of how things might work. Okay. So there's the preview. And I don't know that um, sort of wanted to go to the other screens here. Okay. So you see where I clicked? It actually so, it showed some highlighted things here. So there's my forms. Maybe these are forms that people need to fill out in order to become onboarded. Here's notifications. Okay, so that's sort of interesting. Uh, I hope you guys liked uh, the, the look at this. I would encourage you guys to, to take a look. I do have a, a post over in school where um, I discussed this tool and gave you guys some... Um, I'm trying to find it over here. If you do a search within school, I was, I was trying to find it and I, I typed in UI. Now, if we say U-I-Z-A-R-D dot I-O, let's see what comes up here. Look at that. Okay. Here is a referral code. Okay. And you can look at screenshots. This is one that I... I really liked. Um, and I think this was a, a productivity application. I really like the, the ideas for the screens they had there. And um, so anyway, if you guys go to this, um, this particular thread here, you can post your referral codes. Um, and I, I believe I got it free. So if you post your code, you might get people that will click on your code. Look, so so here Alex has put his code here. So if you guys continue that, uh, a lot of you will be able to get this for free or um, discounted in, in, in some form there. Um, so, hey, check it out. I hope you guys enjoyed the look at this tool. 
And uh, if I come across tools like this, um, I do let you guys know in the community. And I uh, thought you guys appreciate a, uh, a a video look at at this tool.